Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about precise 3D transformations in Blender. If you are trying to use Blender for anything related to architecture, uh, engineering, uh, 3D printing, uh, woodworking, anything that requires precise 3D transformations, this tutorial is for you. Let me give you an overview of a free resource, a, fee, uh, a free add-on that I use all the time in Blender for my projects. Uh, before I explain about this uh, resource or this add-on, let me give you uh, some context. For instance, what, what is the usual way or what we uh, learn how to uh, do here or how to uh, perform a 3D transformation in Blender? Uh, the usual way. For instance, if I have this sofa model here, I can select both objects by pressing and holding the shift key and clicking on them. And if you want to move it uh, one unit or one meter, one feet uh, on the X axis, the usual way or the easiest way is to press the G key, then the X key to lock your transformation to the X axis. The G key is to uh, move your object, uh, is to uh, trigger the move operation. The X key is to lock it on the X axis, and then you can type the distance. For instance, in this case, one and press enter just move this sofa object one unit in the x axis now if you want to go beyond these simple operations you can start using something like pdt before anything how to install pdt it's a part of the blender extensions repository so you have to uh, you can open the edit preferences and here under get extensions you can type here PDT and it will appear here as part of your add-ons. Just hit the install button. Blender will download the add-on. If you open here the add-ons, you will see that we have PDT here as part of your add-ons. Just make sure you have it enabled and we are ready to use PDT. Let me exit. Let me close this and we can start using PDT. How to access uh, PDT or how to view the PDT options. Uh, you will see PDT here as part of your sidebar. You will see a new tab called PDT. And if I open it, you will see the options. And as you can notice, we have a lot of options. Let me expand all of the tabs here from, from PDT. And if I scroll it, you will see that it's a really full feature add-on. We have lots and lots of different options. Now, what do you have to do or what are the first steps that we have to perform here to start using PDT? If I zoom in here, you will see that we have some uh, a few of the options from PDT. The two main options that you have to use here to start with PDT is to change the working mode and the select operation. You will see that they will start with a front X and Z axis this is the plane where pdt will perform most of their operations but uh, for instance if you want to uh, move our sofa here uh, from a top view or considering the x and y axis you have to change this to top and here under select operation as you will notice it will start with move cursor we don't want that i want to move my selected objects so i will change this to move entities as you can see we have lots and lots of different options here uh, for pdt let me change to move entities now the place where you will uh, be performing or using most of the options for transformations in pdt is this section here at the top Here you will find three buttons that will give you a way to transform this object. We have this absolute, this absolute, the delta, and the direction. These uh, are the three buttons that will give you a way to perform transformations in PDT. Now, with the absolute, you will move your objects to the precise 
coordinates that you have here at the top for x, y, and z. The delta, it's a relative transformation. It will move it in relation to the previous location of your object. And with the direction, you will be able to mix a distance and an angle, which is a, uh, which is a way uh, to uh, move and rotate an object at the same time. Let me show you some examples. Uh, let me remove those arrows, these arrows here. Let me change this coordinates to 1 for x because this is what we just did move it this sofa one unit in the x axis let me zoom out so you can see uh, the difference between each one are these uh, three buttons now if i press the absolute button you will see that the sofa now moved not really that much on the x axis it moved it into this direction here and why because now if you keep this object selected and go into the item you will see that the location of the object changes to the x1 y0 and z0 so uh, we just changed the coordinate for this object instead of moving it in the x axis and by the way as you can notice here this scene it's not to scale let me go back to PDT, press Ctrl Z. And now instead of pressing the absolute option, I will press the delta. And if I press delta, you will see here that we have a completely different result. We have the sofa moving uh, one unit or one meter in the X axis, which is exactly what we want. But if you wanna go beyond just moving things around, you can start using this distance and angle from pdt that's where it will shine or show uh, the real uh, a real use case for a precise transformation in blender for instance let's say i want to move this one meter or one unit uh, in the x axis if we see this scene here from the top you can uh, Consider that this direction here is zero degrees. This, di this direction here is 90 degrees. Forgive me for my perfect uh, uh, drawing here of numbers with my mouse. Now, if I press the direction now, you will see that our object will move into the direction of zero degrees. If I change this to 45 and press the direction, you will see that the sofa will start moving into this direction right here. Let me draw an arrow, it will be easier because this angle right here is 45 degrees. This is where PDT will start to become uh, uh, really, really useful because uh, you can uh, move and rotate things at the same time. So this was a really quick overview about PDT. Uh, you can uh, start using the absolute, the delta and the direction to uh, move beyond just pressing uh, the G key and uh, typing your distance. You will have much uh, better controls here with uh, PDT. And if you want to learn more about uh, PDT, I have an entire workshop dedicated to precise 3D modeling in Blender. It's a 10 hour workshop uh, that is available in uh, Udemy. I will leave links in the description in case you want to support my work here. Uh, you will uh, learn not only about PDT, but other resources that will help you to uh, take, make use of Blender for uh, projects related to architecture, engineering, 3D printing, and anything else that requires uh, precise 3D modeling. Besides the workshop, I also have a, a series of books that will teach you the exact same thing with a step-by-step -step approach. Uh, those books are available in uh, English, French, Spanish, and German. Links in the description. Getting any of those resources will support my work here in a Blender 3D Architect. I hope you liked this tutorial. See you next time. Bye.